Brian Ernst starts things off for the Lehigh Valley Cats, sending one out to left field. Railers left fielder bobbles the ball, and Greg Fazio is able to cross the plate. Cats on the board, 1-0. Dan Ittery with a bunt, and Brian Morrow puts the Cats up, 2-0, bottom of the fourth. The Railers were able to hold the Cats to a two-run lead early on, but after a pitching change in the bottom of the sixth, Lehigh Valley was able to pad its lead even more. Railers right-handed pitcher Eric Snyder throws one that gets past the catcher, and Morrow scores yet again. Cats up 3-0, bottom of the sixth. Ittery sends one out to left, allowing Aaron Blair to tag up and cross home. Cats lead 4-0. Bottom of the seventh, Ernst hits one to Warehouse but left field, and Cats Tyler Earps and Fazio add two more runs for the Lehigh Valley Cats, 6 nothing. The Railers finally decide that they went in on the action, and a fly ball to right center drops, and Andrew Bramstetter and Shane Siebler put Allentown on the board, 6-2. to two. Well, through the early innings, I thought it could have gone any way at all. We had the bases loaded and could have had a, a nice inning uh, with one out, and we hit into the double play. And then they turned around in the next inning and did exactly the same thing. And I thought that was a turning point in the game that they didn't score at that particular point. I thought it was inevitable if our, our pitchers were in the strike zone that that team's going to win and their kids began to throw a, an awful lot of pitches gave us bases on balls and then a kid made an error and we got some hits and so forth and the ball game got out of hand for them a little bit two steals tell me about your thoughts uh, when attempting those steals um well coach morgan told us told us at the beginning of the season that we were going to be really aggressive uh when it came to base stealing so um, I went first pitch and then uh, the first time and the second time we actually got mix mixed up on signs and I made a little mistake so he got on me for that but um, I was safe so it worked out. I thought we played well today. We hit the ball around a little bit. We had good starting pitching from Mr. Krause and just got the job done. And a job well done. Final score 9-3 to three cats on the scene at Easton Area High School with Danielle Maslany, 2 Sports.